Welcome, fellow travelers. We got a very special episode, and by that I just mean we got Russell T over here and Nettie P over oh. here. Oh, we're uh, back. We're back to normal. Gosh <laughs> darn! I it, you, it didn't think it would happen again. No, I I honestly was getting a little nervous there because we've got some some news, lots of news coming in this week, and we had three weeks of like. What is our podcast now? Yeah, we were figuring out podcast stuff, figuring out life stuff. And well, my life stuff is I'm I'm still doing my thing. You're doing but, your thing. But now what are you doing? I'm moving to ATL, baby. Ugh. So I am gonna be down in Atlanta. Come hit me up, come talk adventure time. But we are going to have to do some experimentation with some remote podcasting in the future. So yeah, so Ned's not getting rid of me quite quite so easily nope. it sounds like we're still gonna keep doing this freaking podcast dang it uh i know you were trying to to, to, to I, bail i wasn't trying to do anything <laughs> you're the one moving four oh, hours away hush grimby grimby uh <laughs> no nah, man i don't know it's fine here we are uh it'll be interesting we'll see we'll see what happens moving forward but we're obviously going to keep going with the podcast and and figure out how to do it in a way that makes sense and hoping this stops us from having to like have weird skip week episodes and stuff like that. Yeah, it's really... going to keep us way more on pace. I for, think so. For being able to be like, yep, we got a, an hour tonight to just go and like hit an episode. Like, yeah, yeah, it's going to be we... great for the podcast. Terrible for our friendship. Well, I, we're going to like converse more than I probably talk with most people in Atlanta still on a regular basis. Yeah, we're business partners now. Business. Yeah, it's all business. All oh, well, that's business not this episode. This isn't business time. Yeah, what are we episode. talking about this week? We're we're talking about a terrible idea. Uh, and today is season two, episode 10, to cut a woman's hair. Don't. Don't. If you ever have the opportunity, don't cut a woman's hair. I feel like... It's just a, a bad choice, bad life choices, just it, like moving away from a good friend of yours who yeah. you do a podcast <laughs> with. Uh, I, I'd say my advice is just don't ever, unless you know a woman in your life has just gotten a haircut, it's not great. You could say, hey, you had a good hair day, but don't be like, you should trim your hair. Oh, I can see dead ends. Like I avoid hair mm -hmm. comments. Uh, and honestly, I think it's not even intentional. I just don't even think about it. Uh, I am dating someone who loves to switch up the hair, color of their hair a mm. lot. Um, and the best part about that is it always looks good. And I rarely notice because I am just, I guess my <laughs> head is just in other places. And I like, I, your hair is great. I don't know. Like, I don't, it's just hard for me to tell sometimes. I'm not good with colors. I feel like we have a running joke between me and her where it's like, maybe I'm colorblind, maybe I'm not. <laughs> maybe it's like just slightly enough to where you can't tell gradients of color. Yeah, yeah. It's like some streaks of red today. And I'm like, oh, cool. Oh. Uh, no, but yeah, don't. Just don't. Don't don't avoid it. And uh, it's, it's just better not to. But anyways, it's a good episode. Uh, and I just, I kind of want to start this episode off... Uh, but just Ned, you don't mind if I uh, take a load off, do you? No, take a take a load uh, off. Let me get comfortable on this floor. Hey, I'm I'm on the you're floor to this week. Smooth talk me. Trying to smooth talk you. Take you to a spaghetti dinner. I don't know if I can. I'm just gonna. I'll just keep sitting. Yeah. Well, sorry for the lack of accommodations. <laughs> it's all good. We are. We, hey, this is bootstrap podcasting. I love it's, it. it. It's going through changes. Podcast. <laughs> it's it our is. adolescence. Michael's got changes too. He's got a new room roommate coming in well and a new wife coming in too. well that's what i'm <laughs> saying that's, that's a big thing <laughs> <laughs> but in the because of that our studio is in shambles it's all good hey i i i like this setup this is good but so i'm not complaining i was saying I, i'd like that you bring the first thing you content. wanted to open it up with was smooth talking because that that bugs me man no oh, they're all terrible at smooth talking well ben, jake all of them i was gonna say the opposite that Jake was oh, yeah? Jake was too good at smooth talking somebody that wasn't his girlfriend. Well, well I don't. Well, we got a bad dog He's living bad, in the movie right off the right off the bat. I, you know, uh, I was. It just it was creepy that Jake. That was like where Jake's mind went first. Was like, I know. Let's seduce her. Like I, but that's just so Jake, dude. He's is. just he's just like the worst in some ways, and is. I, He's a good dog, right? But sometimes I think he's a bad dog. I'm like, I don't really know what's going on in Jake's mind. Yeah, it's it's like his mind in terms of problem solving goes everywhere that Finn's mind doesn't. And I can't tell if it's 
they're trying to like juxtapose like Finn's adolescence to Jake's non-adolescence. And that's why Finn's like, let's be the hero. Like, let's go, let's go get her some hair. Yeah. And Jake's like, no, we're going to, we're going to seduce our way out of this situation. We we had a lot of really good comments on a post that I did recently, or maybe you did recently, where they were basically just saying like, yeah, Finn or Jake has a ton of powers and mm. he chooses not to use them sometimes because he wants Finn to grow on his own and, and do his own thing and and have the uh, option to make mistakes, you know, and make yeah. mistakes is how you learn. But but Jake could get out of a lot of these hairy situations and could do a lot more like in the previous episode could have saved Princess Bubblegum from getting her head chopped off, but didn't make any moves for it. Because I, you know, I don't, maybe he's a bad dog. Maybe he wanted Princess. He yeah. knows how bad Princess Bubblegum is, and he's just like, "Hey, you're leading on my bro," and decapitation. Yeah, it's kind of like he is fully embracing the sidekick aspect of it, and like being like, "Yeah, this is." I mean, obviously, I can just grow to the size of a building and smash anybody I want to, but that's it would defeat the purpose of the adventuring aspect of it. Well, you know? I do think this episode, and this is not theoretically speaking, but. I do think this episode, we we got to see a little bit of the most that Jake can do. Yeah. I, I, I think the bottomless bottom is truly bottomless <laughs> and might be the most power, powerful thing in Ooh. Yeah, I was, I was blown away. Like, she's a tree witch, right? And she shows her powers off first and she grows her fingers and she grows like a little Venus flytrap off mm-hmm. her pinky. But then like out of nowhere, she's throws up a blue shield she throws up like pink stuff out of her hands and i was like so she's just like a normal witch like does it matter like she's a normal well, witch she that specifies can... it's like she's a witch she has witch powers but then as you get further into D, you go further and further into your specific yeah. uh like which which i just, which them, i, I would know. consider her op like Dude, you she's know. got a bottomless bottom. I honestly think it might be the strongest thing we've seen in Ooh so far. Yeah, the fact well, the fact that Jake can't escape out of it is a little terrifying. It's kind of amazing. I don't like that she slowly sucks him in though, like over time. So this is man, we're kind of starting off on a weird note, but I for Christmas to go back just a touch. Uh, my buddy hosted a Christmas party, which it was my first time in the six years that I've lived up in Nashville that I got to go. Um, and he is a nurse and he had an x-ray as his, his cover photo or whatever Mm -hmm. on Facebook. Um, and bottoms are basically vacuums and don't put anything down there (laughs) because the x-ray was a beer bottle. He took it himself, took this photo himself, a beer bottle in someone's bottom. (laughs) I don't even know. Dude, I don't know. All I'm saying is like back bottoms are vacuums and they're dangerous and a bottomless bottom is very, very dangerous. This is very dangerous. So, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, man, Strongest, I think we need to. We need like Ice King versus Tree Witch and see who would win or something like that. I've also determined that I think the worst thing ever would be um, Hogwarts in the Ooh universe because, to be honest, all the witches, all the wizards suck. Yeah. Well, what was it? The episode where, you know, Wizards episode. They kind of go to the Hogwarts. It kind of is of ooh a little bit, and yeah, it's, you're it's like learning a, like yeah. endless mayonnaise and instant sleep spells. Yeah, it was though that was really a cult more than anything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. let's be real. Is, isn't Hogwarts a cult? It might be a cult. Let's upset some Harry Potter yeah. fans over here. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not beefing with Harry Potter. No, no beef, no beef. Though I might be, maybe a little <laughs> later on. I watched it for the first time and really enjoyed it. Um. Man, okay, let's get on this episode. Yeah. We, we start off with a D-rank mission. No more tangents. I know we don't do that a lot. Uh, we got a D-rank mission where they're feeding a baby bird an apple. Uh, my reference is Naruto. It's usually for Ginnon. So it's, or Ginnon. It's a very, like, beginning of your journey as a ninja uh, mm-hmm. mission. And yeah. they're just, like, feeding, you know, like, rescuing cats and feeding birds. Yeah, like, your friendly neighborhood, Finn the Human. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. I actually like that better. <laughs> Um, because honestly, if we get into more Naruto stuff next episode, that yes, we're also going to record today. Yes, when, uh, next week is the Frozen Blades episode, oh, so lots, so lots good. of Naruto references. Yeah, but we got a, the bird's name is Miss, Mrs. Yoder. Yeah. And I, I don't know why, I guess it reminds me of Yoda. I just love that. I, hold on, I didn't even Yoder have, is such a great name. I know. I, I thought I had a factoid on 
that. But, oh um, man, I wish. I hope so. I don't think it was anything related to like where the name came from, though. You know. Okay, that's fine. Well, if we come back to it, if it circles around, let me know. Um, but we we meet almost right off the bat. Uh, my most punchable character, which has got to be the Bald Tree Witch, yeah. you know, who we've been talking about a little bit. Uh, but she does give them their call to adventure, you know, like find a lock of princess hair. Um, but, you know, as Jake said, uh, if she was good, she wouldn't be so ugly, which is kind of his second time he's done that. Remember in the wizard episode yeah, where he like put down that creepy, you know, like, what are you buying guy? Yeah, well, I, I was going to not reference wizards and he does say the same thing. I was going to put down the fact that the last time they ran into like a witch like this, Jake got turned into baby man jake remember mm. and so i yeah. think jake now has this the donut yeah garden or the, whatever in the, in the donut garden with the bagel with the underpants yeah oh such a great bagel, <laughs> such a great bagel. <laughs> and and i was like okay now jake has this like now internal thing that like ugly witches are bad because and i was gonna say because it was his baby man experience yeah maybe so you know they're just I, like i said i think hogwarts and ooh would suck and all the wizards and witches are just not yeah. my favorite. Now, I was going to ask in terms of the witch, and maybe this is the last thing we'll say about her before we get on with the adventure part of it. Yeah, yeah. If she has the power to grow her hands and, and all this stuff, you'd think that her hair was made out of something foresty. Oh, So why yeah. could she not just grow more grass or moss on the top of her head? It's very odd to me that she has all those powers and can't, can grow her hands to trees, it's, but can't grow like grass on her head. Well, because it would be a toupee or a wig. Like people would not see that as hair. You know, it's all about the perception of, of baldness, I think. But technically you know? she was asking for more hair so she could make a hair toupee to put yeah. on. So, But I mean, like, why does, uh, actually, I don't even want to make this reference because I don't want to bring this name onto our podcast. Why does Trump... You know, put his <laughs> hair forward. You know, like why doesn't he just buy just something? Own it. You know, like own it. There is a great picture out there that somebody made. Like, what if Trump was bald? He looked so much more professional. Did like, he? Oh my gosh, <laughs> it was stop. so it was so crazy. All right, Ned, freaking apple pie eating, good old Southern American Trump loving. No, right, 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 <laughs> right, 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 right. Um. Anyways, man, we're not getting political on this podcast. Who cares? <laughs> uh I but, get enough of that over, I, over christmas break oh jeez. yeah um, well it, yeah uh, diverting from that we get, get finn set off on his mission to go find some we do prince i don't and she she specifies princess hair because i would assume that she's relating princesses to With being beautiful, beautiful. hair yeah, yeah. It, but it's interesting you like when you're talking about how the you mind if i take a load off do you that comment by jake it's very much him, like, I, and again, D and I, I just love bringing it in for some reason. The charisma check for deception, mm -hmm. trying to be like, you know, like smooth talking and just, and totally. And later in the episode, he tells Finn to do the same thing. He's like, "Marry a princess if you have to. Just get hair. Do any like, yeah, you know, morals advice. aside, just get me hair because I'm about to die uh, in this bottom." Um, but I just, I don't know. And then her comment too, you, she hits back with the like. You know, just because there's a goalie doesn't mean I yeah, can't score. I don't care bit. if you have a GF. And I was like, yeah. oh, no. Yeah. I well, mean, and it's I Finn. It's, and, and this is like when I'm going into deeper thoughts, I, pr I try not to go too deep on it. But this is a really good Finn development episode because, you know, it starts the episode off when they're feeding the birds. Uh, Jake references, you know, I bet you wish you were kissing Princess Bubblegum. And we mm. really haven't talked about Finn's crush on Bubblegum in a minute because the Really, the last one was the tarts. It was professional. It was a mission. Finn's really good about compartmentalizing for now when he's adventuring in his emotional feelings for Princess Bubblegum. So this is an interesting one that there. this quest is more about Finn growth than the quest. It it is. It really is. And we actually get to see his first date, I think. I don't I don't know if he's gone on a date before mm -hmm. and that we know of. And honestly, he's he's too young to really have a legit date in the last season anyways. You yeah. know, like you don't have a real date when you're twelve. You yeah. know, like they, they didn't you hold hands at the mall and you <laughs> you know, like you might get a kiss out of it, you know. Well, he did I, I mean it in the quick growth of it all, it was like you know, he starts out and he goes to uh, the Muscle Princess. And yeah. I want to get your thoughts on her. She's she's really cool. I really like her as a character. And she's funny. And, like, I love, like, the 
Hey, Finn. Yeah, of like, course she's in the Finn. They're all in the. They're Finn. all in the Finn. Uh, yeah, Finn. Man, I I like her, and I don't like Finn in this scene. Yeah, he's well. He's this is like the quick development of like the adolescence of like how to talk to girls. So I, yeah, I he guess starts. So. He starts off the muscle princess. And he's just like, hey, I just need a lock of your hair. Like, I, this is what I want. And you, you're not getting anything in return. And that's why she's like, come, come back when you're ready yeah. to get serious. I, I want to save you from your hair. It looks really bad. You know, like, yeah. Finn, what are you doing? Here's what I'll say. She is so confident in herself. And, and that is something that I do think is awesome. I mm-hmm. really love that she's just like, look, I can't have good hair because it distract people from my awesome <laughs> muscle. It's like, check me out, bro. You know? And yeah. then, uh, yeah, I don't know. And if she had great hair, like, I, I don't, I don't think it would distract from her awesome muscles, but yeah. I'm just saying like, I love how confident she is in who she is. Yeah. And I think that's really cool. And I think then think could learn something yeah. from that, but I mean, the, the I don't want to spoil it for everybody who's better. have seen this episode already. Ben has such good hair. Yes. His hair is amazing. His hair is amazing. We'll get to that later. Though. Okay. Yeah, we'll let's get, get to yeah, that later. We're, we're, gonna, I, we're gonna talk about I almost hair. can't even contain it. It's so freaking amazing. <laughs> it is really good. And in that it it continues to be amazing, like all through the show. Does it? Yeah. Yes. yes uh, it does. Well, he looks so ugly bald. But <laughs> I guess oh, I mean I don't want to hate on bald people. Ned, would you go bald? I'd go bald. Would you? Yeah. If I, I mean, turn your head. Let me I see. Don't, I don't know if I'd pull it off yeah. really well, but I don't know why not. I like it, dude. Honestly, the bald look is a that's a vibe, man. If you can pull off bald, that is such a vibe. I I can't. I've I've done bald before. Doesn't look Does, good. Yeah, you gotta. It's yeah. it's one of those tough ones. You gotta have the right chin and the right the right jawline like line, shape. Yeah, head shape. You gotta look like Joe Rogan, right? Oh um, well, yeah. Joe Rogan, he's he's honestly he looks much better bald than he does with yeah, hair. Exactly. <laughs> if we're being exactly. honest, like the old Fear Factor days. Um, <laughs> but yeah, well, okay, man. next Anyways. next princess was next LSP. Princess. Yeah. Um Ooh. I wanted to get your thoughts on Best this scene. is the first time we see like LSP's been hanging around since episode two, season one. And we know she never went back to Lumpy Space. Did we know that? Yeah, like because she, she like leaves her parents. She's hanging around ooh a lot and like obviously she's not in lumpy space so this is the first time we see that she's like a straight up vagabond in the woods character development yes we get legit character development this is the best scene this is my mm-hmm. tops of the episode nice, is, is nice. this whole scene i mean obviously i'm a sucker for nighttime colors and, mm-hmm. and, and the, and the sunset colors were great in this scene beautiful i love how finn's skin changes as he gets closer to the campfire mm-hmm. you know we get to see a bunch of sinks and toilets and everything she's been camping out for a long time it's really developing what's been going on in her life i mean she was a princess yeah you know a princess of like a bunch of terrible people like i'm mean, not terrible but lame <laughs> lumpy people, people lumpy people yeah uh you know and but even when she's sleep talking she's like i'm, I'm not going home I'm yeah not going home. and so it was like she's she's freaking owning this decision and she's making the best out of the situation and i don't yeah. even think that she sees herself as down on her luck or, or down on her luck she's just owning it you know yeah. what i mean uh i i totally agree and then finn man finn again we got another yeah, moment he, he where... goes from clueless with muscle princess to creepy, creepy. with lsp yeah we got a little, uh, he's problematic. He's a problem. <laughs> a little Bo Burnham going on here where Finn goes up and tries to cut her hair. She has hair, first of all. Yeah, like, I didn't I didn't like that. <laughs> she has little tiny hair, uh, which also, it reminds me of like when they did the uh, Detective Pikachu, mm-hmm. you know, and all like Pikachu's like fuzzy. And it's yeah. like, I know, I knew he would be fuzzy. But you don't know. Yeah, you don't really see it that I way. didn't really, yeah, I didn't really need it. You yeah. know, like, I don't know. So, but anyways, uh, yeah, I don't know. He, it's just Finn's problematic, man. He really is. Uh, and LSP's old fashioned. Yeah. She, she wants a ring. Baby. She wants that ring. Well, I put that I, I ring had on a, her finger. I had a great canon moment that you need to know in this episode. And I don't think it's going to be spoiler alerts okay. for anybody. But if you notice, LSP has five fingers in this scene and she holds up her ring finger, cool. right? Nobody else in the Adventure Time universe that we see has five fingers. So one, for my fans out there, without spoilers, this is a nod to LSP being different, a.k.a. the Elements miniseries. My fans will know what I'm talking about. But secondly, 
there was a great factoid I found online that in five more short grables with Cuber in a later episode, he okay. states that there has been no one with five fingers in 20 blah billion grables, which maybe this is relating to the amount of time between Cuber's time no one? and LSP. So it could have been 20 blah billion grables, which I don't know really what that means. Does Finn have five fingers? No, he's got he's got three main and a thumb. Oh. And everybody, yeah, everybody has kind of like that cartoon three main and a thumb, but that's that's like weird. Yeah. So they mention it later down in the road, and it's like, okay, this canon that LSP is different. And then she's you know, they state that she's got five fingers. So it's kind of it's kind of cool. I just wanted to like pull out that like interesting scenario there. Do you, do you have five fingers? Yes. Oh, okay. Cool. I guess I do too. I got so, one big one for you right uh, here. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's I should be doing that. You're moving away. I should be <laughs> fucking you off. <laughs> uh, sorry, visual gags just don't really work right now. We yeah, don't have... not when there, not when there's no video. I kind of love it though. I think it's one of my favorite jokes is doing visual gags. But All right, um, let's let's talk about yeah. Last Princess, and then we come back from our break. We'll talk about uh, the hot date. But let's we've got it. Princess Beautiful. Princess Beautiful. She's freaking dead. Yeah, she died. She d- died. She died baldness. of baldness. <laughs> <laughs> which, which is funny to me because a skeleton wouldn't have hair regardless. So I don't really know what Finn's like thought process yeah, was I don't there. Know. I think hair has got to be like one of the first things to go. I think your fingernails keep growing for a bit. Mm-hmm. Maybe hair does for a bit. I hair don't know. should probably stay around longer than skin. But yeah, I don't know. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, well, dude, that's a uh, macabre, uh, which is my word of the day. Yeah, I, I googled the definition too, just to be uh, like, I want to. I, I know what it means, but I was like, I don't. I want to know if I'm not getting any like weird. I, I didn't know what it means, and here's what it means. When we looked it up on Urban Dictionary, which is you know as we do on this podcast mm-hmm. as of now, uh, it is the top alliance guild on World of Warcraft's Memoroth server, established in December 2005. So a really weird World of Warcraft <laughs> reference right there by uh by Adventure you know it, it has a real definition right uh, it means it means Chicago like, speed metal bands that consist of <laughs> look up the d- real definition it's a real word is it a real word yeah it means like dark and brooding yeah I know um, <laughs> wanted to ma- I did want to make sure you knew that before. Tim Burton's work is macabre yes. as uh, Urban Dictionary says that's their sentence for it. No, she's great, man. I thought it was so funny. Why does she know, Fen? I don't know. That's what really got me. I she, guess it's one of those things that, like, some, you know, every princess is into Finn, even the dead ones. I I know we're about to go into the break, but let me do my theoretically speaking. Theoretically speaking. So I think there's a reason why everyone's into Finn. I think it's kind of that, like, uniqueness factor. Mm-hmm. I almost wonder if it's, like, Everyone and everything in an adventure time is trying to emulate like human society, but there are no humans except for Finn. Uh, and so everyone's trying to be as like human as they could possibly be. Even the animals are, you know? So, uh, I think he's seen a special or important, like a celebrity of some sort, um, mm-hmm. or like a endangered sexy species. Um, which is why every princess just like is falling in love with Finn constantly. It's, um, I don't know. It's it's weird. It's gross because he's young, uh, which leads me to the question of, is PB grooming him? Ooh, uh, don't, oh, gross. Let's not talk Dark. about that. All right. Well, anyways. <laughs> like, yeah, it's it's always PB. Yeah, I mean, that's bad joke. But <laughs> it's bad joke. anyways, I just, you know, I couldn't help myself. Yeah. Oh, no, it, it's it's important that you bring it up. But it's gross. It. It's important She's that old, you bring it up. And yeah. he's 13. And she, know, well, it's. She tells him I like him in this episode. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll get to it after the commercials. Yeah, I just don't like it. Well, let's take a break because I know. Yeah, we long first half of the podcast. Thanks for sticking around. Yeah. All right, boys and girls, we at the Bubblegum Lab Co have felt for years that modern chewing gum is so boring. Stripes, who needs them? Original, as if juicy and fruity. F it, more like poo pooey. That's why our candy scientists spent countless hours with PB to develop the latest flavored rubber for your mouth, bubblegum hair. The bubblegum that's meant to get stuck there. Now you too can look like a princess and chew that like a sultan of swat, the titan of terror, the great Bambino himself, only with our bubblegum hair. You best buy it today, kids. 
Welcome back, man. That was a fun ad. That was a crazy ad. That I'm, took a turn in the best way. Too much of Tony Soprano on HBO recently. Little, little Flambo accent. I know. We, we, Flambo's Flambo? got Flambo's got some accent coming up next week too. The little flame boy. Uh, little flame boy. Ah, I Sassy love the little flame, flame boy. boy. Mm. Well, we we ended and we were on a roll, and I wanted to save a special time to talk about special time. Finn's first date. Yeah. Like, real date. Yeah, I, I agree. Spaghetti kind of date. Real. Spaghetti date. Right, but it's, it is weird. It feels forced, but at the same time, people use about it, and they, they go, there's a skull in the fire, and he cuts down, and <laughs> he, he's like, where are he, we going to sit? He cuts down a whole entire tree in, like, four swoops. It's kind of manly. Yeah. Like, it's... The more I'm watching and yeah. like really noting... Like Finn is really powerful in this universe. Like, like in terms of strength, if we're really looking at it, like when he's fighting people and like he chokes out uh, yeah, as far Donnie. As go. Remember Don? Like, like Donnie's this huge ogre, and Finn yeah. takes him down like no problem. Like, oh yeah, yeah. So we we can't overlook the strength and behind this. And he hangs in there with all the marauding, roughhousing marauders. Yeah, you know? yeah. And there he so so he's yeah. got. I don't know. He's been dipped in the in the fountain some, of some fountain strength or yeah. something. I don't know. So he cuts down a tree. He obviously also shaves off two little slices enough to have little seeds. Dude, I'm telling you, it's that's if you're trying to take a girl on a date or a guy on a date, that is one of the best ways you can impress someone. Yeah, I did it. You know, it's the only reason why I have a girlfriend right now. Just went out to Centennial Park and just cut mm. down a tree. Cut down a tree. Definitely not a felony. Has pulled spaghetti with your hands out of out a of pot. A pot, a boiling pot. Exactly. And just was like, yeah, that's hot. And it was, and it was, I'm, I was more impressed. Put it, it on came the log. out of the pot, like already, like beautiful looking. Oh, yeah. Like sauced up, meatballs all ready to go. Mm. You know, I like mm-hmm. that gravy on my pasta. Yeah. <laughs> well, and then, you know, right after this, we get to, uh, and my my sexy character of the episode. Oh no, Simon. Uh, yeah. Simon, oh, yeah. Simon, Simon was my lovely of the episode. Give, give me some sugar, baby. I I can't blame you, but tell me tell me why it was your lovely. I feel like lovely takes priority over well, sexy. First of all, lovely apparently bugs deal with hard cash. He okay. pays him a dollar. <laughs> He's <Yeah>. like. <laughs> second of all, the bugs have learned how to construct tiny instruments which i think is also incredible mm-hmm. and he's just bomb at playing the violin he's and he, finn just, goes, just make it romantic and he does it i, I wish like, we knew this. what he was playing i wish we knew what song he, I, yeah, I there was a thing i didn't identify any it almost song. sounded like the let's go to the god and it almost sounded like that melody uh-huh. but i don't i don't think it was no nah, that because that comes that comes a little bit later I yeah feel like. but maybe they had already written it because it, it does start up i don't know uh yeah. maybe go back and and check it out if if y'all are fans of that song I mean, yeah i don't I'd really love, know the song that well but i'd love to hear if that actually was where they kind of got the tune from. That'd be rad. Um, um, but the second yeah, part of this, though, this, this whole scene is my tops of the episode. Yeah. Well, I, I just, just, I love that he's a ladybug, too, like a male ladybug who can play the violin. There's just something yeah. really something sexy, sexy about, about that. that. Yeah. Mm. I, I don't know. Uh, anyways. Can, but the up? whole date scene is my tops of the episode because cool. just because of the way Finn re- like talks, it is so adult. Like he's like, here, princess, put your butt here. Yeah, Pre- please, That's princess, adult? just stick it in your mouth. Oh, there it is. Dang it. I was gonna put this in your mouth. It's hot. I was gonna, I was gonna text you that line. Uh, <laughs> put it in your mouth. It's I hot. Said, please, princess, just stick it in your mouth. Oh, is they, they, there's no way they wrote that line and didn't at least feel a little uncomfortable. I, I feel like the writers Maybe. at this point in season two, they're kind of like. Okay, now we're gonna try to get creative and write some like adult humor lines. Yeah, yeah, that that's got to be one of the better lines of the episode for sure. I mean, I didn't catch it the first time I listened to it or watched the episode, but the second time I saw that, and I was just like, man, that is mighty horny, and <laughs> we're all about that on the episode on the podcast. So, oh man, it's it, and at least it ends well. Does Princess it? Bubble he bails. Yeah, he. I mean, it, it, she seems weirdly giddy, mm-hmm. so I don't know if she's like overly flattered. That well, Finn she says, is doing "Of course, that. I like you," and I'm like, "What? What does that mean, bro? Like, but, what are you trying to oh, say?" She knows that she's like yanking chains at this point. Oh, man, you know? I just mm, Princess Bubblegum, you get yuck- underneath my skin. She's yucking his yums. She is yucking his yums for sure, mm-hmm. and 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 like a manipulative way. Yeah, because like she, the whole time she's got this, and it's it's almost a little bit degrading or almost a little like like patronizing yeah it's like pat you on the head yeah oh, of course exactly, i like you. exactly yeah. and i did i didn't like that like 
Me neither. Except, you know, and that that's what brings up. I was like, oh, is she just like keeping him happy so he'll just keep adventuring for her? For her, you yeah. Know? I mean, he's a, the, one of the greater adventurers in the ooh world at the moment, you yeah. know? So, and probably... And she, don't get me wrong. I know she's friends with them, but like she has to understand. Like she has to be wise enough to understand like when he's kind of obviously troubled at this point that something's happening and she's like, oh, like, you're so cute. Like, here's my hair. Like, we just, we need to get more background information on Princess Bubblegum because I just need to know a yeah. little bit more context for all this because I hate just like roasting her. But at the same time, I, I'm like, she deserves it. Yeah. Uh, but we got a lot of backlash for actually roasting um, Ice King a couple episodes ago. Uh, and by backlash, I mean like three or four people commented and they're like, oh, he's my favorite character. And yeah. I'm like, look, I know he gets better later from what I've heard. But yeah, I, I have mentioned he's yeah. probably about the most three dimensional character we get out of Adventure yeah, Time. Yeah, which is awesome. But like at the moment, you know, I mean, in the context of what this podcast is and and my adventure through this um, this TV series, like all I know is that he kind of blows and I know he's supposed to get better later. And you probably find out about his background, blah, blah, blah. But but right now he's just like a creepy wizard. Yeah, you know, he's he's not. You know, there's like stories out there. There's like anti heroes, and Ice King's kind of like the anti villain. Like mm -hmm. he wants to be the villain, but he's actually good instead of like instead of wanting to be the hero, but he's actually bad. So like maybe the, there's not really many anti villains out there. Cool. So that's, that's like that. maybe how we would, and that's like, like Deadpool. Would that be an anti well? Deadpool is the anti hero. Anti hero. Yeah, you're and right. So. You're right. It, you know, Ice King's the one that he's like, kind of knows he's the antagonist, mm. but he's not really bad enough to be that bad. That's kind of cool. You know, I kind of did that. Yeah. Well, I don't know. We move on, man, and uh, that's a great scene. But we get back to the the witch clenching Jake and sucking him, yeah. sucking him. Deep Nothing but his butt. fingers coming out at this point. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, it and had then Finn, to smell Finn's bad like, too. Oh well, I don't even want to know. <laughs> I don't even want to know the bottomless pit. Probably smells gross. Uh, but ben, Ben's like, you know, I'm so great at talking to women now because he got Princess Bubblegum to give her or no. give him her bubblegum hair. And I think that's that wraps up my deep thoughts behind Finn's little micro adventure here that he did he grow? Did he get better at talking to women? I mean, in theory, if you were a 12 year old and you struck out on asking a girl out. You know, even th this is not a great instance because Finn has ulterior motives, but you strike out, you strike out, you strike out. Even when you get a little win, you're like, yay, I did it. I can talk to girls now, you know, that's and that's so you do see this like micro progression of Finn's growth here that yeah, he's like, that's true. He learned a little bit, at least that you can't be can't walk up to girls and be like, give me your hair, lady. That's what I want, you know? Yeah. But then he goes to her and says, like, you're ugly and kind of a jerk. You know, yeah. like, I, I don't know. And that's my, we'll, we'll get in, we can get into like large lessons, but that is kind of the underarching lesson was like honesty, man. Finn's dishonest with all the princesses. He's manipulative on purpose. And really when Princess Bubblegum was like, you could have just like, of course you can have my hair. Like you didn't, just ask probably didn't it. have to take me on this date. And that when Finn comes back, um, he realizes that, being manipulative with the princesses was bad. And at the beginning, being manipulative with the with the tree witch, the Jake trying to smooth talker and, and yeah. have this like ulterior motive. And he's just like, the best way to talk to women is to be honest. So he's like, hey, you're ugly and no one will ever yeah, love you. Here's some tough love. Yeah. And apparently it works. And it does know? work. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like you you should be honest with people. You shouldn't be honest when they don't ask you to, to say, hey, like you know, but the yeah. but the tree witch was basically saying like, "Tell me I'm beautiful." Like, yeah, and you can't be like, "Yes, but no." Was she beautiful once she had Finn's hair? No, 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 she wasn't. But my lovely was Finn and those locks, and only mm. that moment of the episode, just you, just the Finn's locks. Yeah, and part. this is the the was this the first moment we confirmed that Finn's that was a hat, you know, it was not. Well, we've seen his hands his... go through oh, it. Oh yeah, you're you right. Know? You're right. Uh, but, but I just want to say like, it's good. 
gorgeous. <laughs> just like the the mountain and the butt and the rough house or the yeah rough housing episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, dude, ah, Finn's hair is gorgeous. It's, it is gorgeous. It's so good. He's problematic as all get out this episode. Um, and I guess did he just like cover? Is the hat to cover his hair up through the awkward phase? And now he's like, I'm ready to reveal. I don't know. I think it's just part of how he dresses. And okay. when we really get down into other humans in the Adventure Time universe. Other humans? Yeah. Okay. Well, you'll you'll see with Susan Strong soon too. Cool. But, um, mm-hmm. but those hats are like a common theme. Like cool. I don't I, they never really explained why. There's a well, well when that episode comes up, I there are theories why they wear animal hats, but We'll get there. Oh, it's an animal hat. Well, yeah, it's got little eyes on it. Does it? Yeah. Okay. I don't know why. I know it has little ears. I guess I just never really looked at it. I think it has little eyes on it, if I'm not mistaken. Ned. Ned. Ah. This is a this is a shame. I'm looking it up right now. No. Nah, well, if I'm wrong, I'm just thinking about... It doesn't a different, have little eyes. Uh, okay, I'm thinking about You're a different a fool. episode than... Fake. Um, He's fake. When Vin's hat comes alive. That's a good episode. Well, well... Cancel Ned. Uh, cancel this podcast. We're not real fans. Um, just kidding. No, please, please. This is at all some I point. Have. The this hat is all I have. Grows little little eyes. It comes alive. This is it's, all I have. It's hilarious. Ned's leaving me. I need this podcast. Please, <laughs> please don't cancel us. Um, oh man. Oh, man. Well, like I, that was a couple of lessons. Yeah. I, mean, I told you it was like the, the Finn's development was my deep thoughts. Lessons was about honesty and like mm-hmm. girls can see through your BS. Last lesson was you just got to stop helping evil witches. Just yeah, don't help evil do. witches, you know? Well, that was the big reveal is that she is evil. Yeah. Uh, but fortunately, she's very old and fragile. So, <laughs> you know, it doesn't I don't really know. Matter. We just called her OP as well. So, Well, her bottom is OP. I mean, I guess your bottom doesn't get any less OP as you get old. But uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> That's your lesson. <laughs> my bottom is, not, is always going to uh, be OP. <laughs> my lesson is uh, having uh, Finn's hair doesn't make uh, the witch any less terrible. So try and find a way to love yourself for who you are. That's that's my lesson. Yeah, and also, just I just want to go back to Hogwarts on Adventure Titans Earth would just totally suck, and wizards are terrible. Yeah, And I want a good wizard. Find me a good wizard, In please. Two, two episodes for now, we'll get to Finn's really famous line when he goes, wands are for wizards. <laughs> I love that. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for uh, a couple more episodes. We've got another one we're about to record. And man, I think this was good. Do you yeah. have any other thoughts for this episode? Yeah, I, I had some fun facts. And then I just wanted to kind Let's of maybe it. we should send it home with some fun facts. Yeah, send it. Um, the Tree Witch is actually voiced by, and I'm going to mess the name up, Thurup Van Orman, who also voices Kent in the Little Brother episode for my fans out there. Kent's like one of my favorite voice characters of the episode but it is also it's the the creator of misadventures of flapjack um which i really thought was was mm. a cool like cartoon network crossover type thing another show that i never really watched and yeah. probably won't yeah it's it it gives me weird vibes like just the coloration and the animation yeah, yeah we've talked um, about it i think in the first episode a little bit yeah um oh well, and also cool fact that we did see a a tree witch type character in yeah, city of we thieves did. um when they're outside, outside of the big turtle shell city of and thieves. she does at she appears at the end of the episode as well yeah she pops up when yes. they're and i think it is her i think it's supposed it's not her it's oh it's not her it's not her i looked it up because i was curious because i was like i've seen a witch that has tree powers and it's it's a different looking tree yeah. witch yeah. yeah absolutely well and then another another fun fact um when they hop out of mrs yoder's tree there's another at carved in, in a heart yeah. on the tree which is like the third time this has happened in the show so i love that the the animators are sneaking in some like cool canonical easter eggs like that hmm. um and then uh a really cool one uh for future episodes the wad of princess bubblegum's hair that she gives finn in this episode um actually comes up again and finn keeps that lock of hair and jake i think in a future episode jake's like dude, do you still have Princess Bubblegum's hair? And he's like holding it as like a prized treasure. So I thought that was like really cool to like when yeah. we see that again to remember back to this episode that this is when... He's got a hair on a shrine for uh, Princess Bubblegum. Yeah. I love that. It's it's creepy, but it's like part of Finn's 
overall like arc yeah. and character development. Too. Yeah. So well, last one we all had bubblegum shrines. We all to we all had some on. sort of bubblegum shrine. Oh, right? definitely. Yeah. Mine was Cassidy Pope from an old band called Hey Monday. <laughs> okay, I was like, are you are you doxing someone from your elementary school? No, no, no. She's a she's a singer, and I okay. always had a little picture of her over my bed. From, oh, whoa! Growing up in my in my middle school high school years wow dead from what band the band called hey monday and then she split off and it's like a local band local no it's like kind of an old like girl run pop punk band now she and then she won the voice so Hmm. um good for her good for her i don't know and now she's a country artist in nashville it's very odd that's how it goes country much much (laughs) more clear lane to go in if you're if you're trying to be a musician and you can fake it through country and uh you gotta be good you can't be bad but (laughs) <laughs> it's, be good. it's a Can't much be more clear lane than like indie or pop music yeah. you know i mean i don't know but um, last one i got for you man yeah is i did i i could have gone and done an english essay on this but apparently this entire episode may have been a reference to a poem by alexander pope an old like you know long poem called the rape of the lock and in this yeah. poem it has something to do with uh, a king and a princess and in order to get power and take away power from the princess's side of the family, he's got to go steal a lock of her hair, and then everybody gets mad at him for stealing a lock of her hair. Um, I tried to read in and like summarize it more, but re- it was going to turn into like a whole English essay, you know, too too far of a tangent. But a little bit, they they probably got some, they may have gotten some influence from from that poem. Yeah. Well, that's that's kind of cool. That, that's all my fun facts, man. Man, well, let's wrap it up then. You know, thanks, thanks everybody for the the first episode in I guess four weeks because we took a week off mm-hmm. with me and Ned back on the mics. And DJ Mike Netty P spitting straight fire on Adventure Time and DJ Russ, DJ Rusty Nails T <laughs> <laughs> Russ T. Oh uh, man, I don't like that DJ name. But <laughs> we'll get you a DJ name. Ah, uh, yeah, that'd be cool. We got three, two DJs already. We got to get another DJ, DJ OT. I don't know. Um, but y'all, this was a great episode. Um, please like go follow us, review us, all that good stuff. Like if you do the five stars on Apple Podcasts, it helps us a ton. But if you do that, please write like a little, a little blurb of just why you like or don't like the podcast. Like, yeah. like give us that, ex- that extra little thing helps a lot. Um, yes. and in terms of celebrating you guys for giving us all the love, we officially hit 10,000 downloads of the podcast this week. Bow, 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 bow. Crazy pop ah. the champs, eat some chocolate. Yeah. Celebrate. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so excited. It's crazy. You guys have been awesome. I mean, like literally the amount of stuff that you get, have just engaged with on TikTok and YouTube and a few of the Apple podcast reviews yeah. have been <laughs> awesome feedback. Like yeah. give us constructive feedback. Give us just some love. We Man, love I had so many cool comments or we had so many cool comments on YouTube this past week. And and honestly, they've been going for a while. I just haven't unlocked uh, but I looked this week and I, I replied back and I was just like so excited to see the good feedback and that people are actually enjoying this little thing that we do. No, um, it just, it feels good, man. You know, it's like we, we're, you know, I mean, we joke about making a lot of money on this. We don't make any money on this, no. uh, but we do spend a lot of time and, and try and put effort in, and we're just trying to do this show justice because I know it means a lot to a lot of people. Uh, including our boy Nettie, Nettie mm-hmm. Poo, across the table from me. Yeah, let's get this. I mean, I, more than anything, I would, even since the show's done, I would love for this just to be a way to keep the show going for people and a way to continue so. like a, a micro community of fans out there. So, a macro community. Macro, That's what I'm going macro for. Macro community. Mac and cheese Everybody community. Everybody's going to love it. Fans. Yeah, I would love. I mean, if we just keep going, man, I mean, the, the more people that join us, like, I have a dream of one day doing a live show. Could you imagine? That'd be cool. I don't know how we would do I it. I just have the dream of being recognized once. I don't want that. By a stranger. That'd be kind of <laughs> cool. <laughs> that would be kind of cool, but too much more than once or twice. We'd go, oh. You know, <laughs> yeah. like my pride. I just hope to be super famous, man. I just already, I already had a moment where I was like, gosh, there's a lot of people I don't know that like have heard stories that I haven't told a lot of people from this podcast. But 
that's kind of the beauty of it. I can kind of air out my thoughts and yeah. use it as therapy for when uh, a really good friend decides to move away and just totally bail on you, you know? So, yeah. And then talk to you multiple times a week. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, man, anyways, back to everything. Check us out on Instagram. Uh, I, you know, I got a little goal of a thousand followers over there one day maybe yeah yeah um, we the the instagram community of our 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 travelers is a little bit more intimate um I tiktok's so. bigger we have a lot of followers and stuff but like, like that random so far, people, but it's very random yeah yeah and you know you can get a hundred you can get a hundred thousand views on tiktok and it it means a hundred downloads <laughs> it's <Yeah>. like <laughs> the ratio there is ridiculous so there is a lot more a lot better engagement on uh, Instagram at Never Ending Adventure Podcast. You, you know, you could check out our TikTok at Never Ending Adventure Cast. Um, and then Twitter at NEA underscore podcast. We are continuing with our hashtag no Ned season. That's right. I yeah. still post occasionally. And I think we got like 21 people over there that yeah. follow that. So that's cool. Um, and then we had someone asking about the email. We have an email. It's nea.travelerslog at gmail.com. Send us all your thoughts, anything you want to talk about it with the episode. If, if you're having trouble or you haven't heard from us, maybe you typed it wrong or something and hit us up on Instagram and we'll reply back and I'll send you a link to it so that we don't have that issue anymore. And man, like, please, anything, especially if you do like a couple, a couple episodes in advance, then you can comment on the episode and we can add it to that specific episode. That could be really cool. Um, but really just whatever y'all want to do, man, I'm, I'm happy to, I want to include y'all as much as we can, uh, because honestly we're desperate for content and we really yes. need it because we're boring. We're so boring. We're so, but yeah, that's why nobody listens to us, right? No one listens ah. to not the 10,000 downloads. Bow, 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 bow. Sorry. So excited about that. Uh, y'all thank you so much. I've got one more thing to say. Say it. Party forever. Party forever. How did you guys?